Hey everyone, this is Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology. I wanted to talk to you guys about another Sinistry placement. Um, and it's Pluto in your partner's first house or your Pluto in your partner's first house. To best understand this placement, we have to go back to what Pluto is about. Pluto is the ruler of the eighth house. Um, is known as Hades. It's where our carnal desires, materialistic concerns, sexual concerns, money concerns, um, power struggles, psychology, um, all the hidden parts of our subconscious mind, the hidden parts of us, what we do in secret. All of this is Pluto's area and it's it's not the, the, the most positive side to us. It has a lot to do with ego, um, sex, um, not that sex is bad, but power in sex, control in sex, uh, red tape around money. Um, you know, it's, it's Hades. It's the house of Hades. So it has a lot to do with ego and our need to control things, power, um, and stuff like that. Now, positively, Pluto um, exposes us to these traits within us um, and also empowers us. Um, so when we experience a Pluto transit, for instance, if we're somebody that hasn't been standing up for ourselves or is more passive and stuck in situations that aren't good for us, um, a difficult Pluto transit will cause us to stand up for ourselves. We'll be pushed to our limits to where we have to actually do something about it. Or we find within ourselves the inner power to stand up for ourselves, to defend ourselves, to protect ourselves. Pluto is a very powerful planet. It can be both explosive and subtle. Um, and it's, Pluto is all about uncovering secrets, controlling things and situations, fear, um, anxiety, overthinking, um, you know, obsessiveness, obsessive, um, behavioral patterns. Um, it's all about that type of stuff. So when a person's Pluto is in your first house, the first house is your physical body, it's your personality, and it's how you go out into the world. Similarly to the Ascendant, um, and you can listen to Pluto conjunct Ascendant just to get a wider perspective of Pluto, um, and it's typically, if there's a physical attraction, then the Pluto person can be very obsessed and attracted to the house person, to the first house person, because it's their physical body, how they present themselves, and Pluto can be obsession. It can also point to a person that dominates or controls or manipulates the first house person. These are the more negative traits, and in order to find out whether or not the positive or the negative will play out in this relationship, you always have to look at the natal chart of the individual who's Pluto. If they have difficult aspects with Pluto, the squares, the oppositions, and sometimes the conjunctions with personal planets, the ascendant, the sun, the moon, Venus, Mercury, um, Mars even, um, you'll see that this person has difficulty working with Pluto energy and may have issues with control, domination, fear, anxiety, um, obsession, and all these more negative traits. If the person does not have any difficult aspects within their natal chart with Pluto, then a lot of the, the, the more negative aspects aren't likely, but there still be a lot of very strong um, dominating energy. How this plays out is typically the Pluto person um, will 
feel strongly about the house person in a love relationship. Um, it can also play negatively, meaning that if there's no attraction between the two, and also um, how the house person feels to being dominated or controlled or bossed around or um, being, you know, any of these types of things, because some people are more accepting to it than others. Positively, if the Pluto person is well adjusted with their Pluto, they can help the first house person become more confident, more dominant, more aggressive, um, and more def uh, being able to defend themselves, stand up for themselves, and go after what they want passionately. Because the Pluto person is like a boot camp person that just wants to push the, the house person to take action, to do things. And this is about the physical body and the personality. So they can help them work out and lose weight, uh, wear colors that look better on them, you know, because their, their advice will be beneficial to the house person if they're well balanced with their Pluto. If they're not well balanced with their Pluto, then they can end up controlling, dominating, and forcing their opinions on the house person and being uh, the more dominant person in the relationship. They can try to control you, control um, how the person acts, talks, uh, dresses, uh, behaves in general. Um, Pluto can be both, like I said, explosive and subtle. So if the person has difficulty working with their own Pluto and they choose to use the subtle manipulative route, um, they can be passive aggressive, um, play games back and forth to try to get uh, you to react, um, you know, subver subversive techniques to try to get what they want from you. If the person is well balanced in Pluto, then they can just be the stronger personality in the relationship, the more dominant person. Um, but the Pluto person will definitely try to transform the house person. Pluto's about death and rebirth and transformation, control and all those things. But they can help you transform from who you are into another person. Um, and they might do this through subversive tactics or blackmail or it's all or nothing because it's another thing is Pluto is all or nothing. It's my way or the highway. Um, so they can be that type of personality. If they're well balanced in their Pluto, then they can just be very supportive of you, very a big cheerleader for you, because Pluto, well balanced Pluto people can be um, huge advocates for change, positive change. Um, they can push their agendas to make the world a better place, to make you a better person, um, if they're well balanced. But negatively, they can try to bring you down, control you, manipulate you. Um, and this all depends on the person, and that's why it's very important. It's a must for you to uh, analyze the person's chart and what aspects are being made by Pluto in their chart. And if they're difficult aspects, then the more negative traits are more likely to happen. Um, and this can be obsession, stalking, um, researching, um, all these things. And this goes for if you're in a relationship with them and if you're not in a relationship with them and you're just trying to uh, get, a, get into a relationship with them. In other types of relationships, like a boss or a coworker, you can find this person very pushy, dominating, controlling. Um, you'll know this type of person that has their Pluto in your first house or that has harder aspects with Pluto. You can feel the energy, the intensity, um, they tend to push their way through, uh, you know, situations and to get their way. Um, they're the more dominant uh, personality that takes control of situations and people. So if somebody's Pluto is in your first house or if your Pluto is in their first house, you just need to watch for um, not being able to be yourself. You need to watch for um, issues around control, whether you're trying to control them or they're trying to control you. Um, it can be obsessive as well. Um, it can be a person that, um, you know, uh, works against you. You know, it just depends on, that's why when we talk about synastry, um, it's really difficult for you to talk about one aspect or one placement and be accurate because there's so many other aspects 
um, aspecting that planet, aspecting his Pluto, but also you might have planets in your first house. Also, um, you know, the aspects to your moon of how you respond emotionally. I mean, there's just so much to uh, sinistry. So, and so much to astrology, uh, period. So it's very difficult to talk about one aspect or one placement, but generally speaking, um, the Pluto person will have the upper hand um, and tends to be the stronger personality and the one um, usually trying to get their way. Um, and this all depends on what the first house person's ascendant is, what sign is on their first house, um, of whether or not they like this, this somebody else to take the lead or to dominate, or whether or not they don't, which will show conflict. So, um, yeah, that's that's about wraps it up. I mean, it, it really does um, show a lot of physical attraction. Um, and because of that, a lot of intense feelings and stuff can come out, uh, provoking jealousy and possessiveness and controlling behavioral patterns. Um, but if the person doesn't have any difficult aspects with Pluto, they can be a, you know, a, 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 a huge cheerleader for you that can help you transform in ways that are very beneficial for you. There's a positive and a negative to all sides of astrology and all the planets. Um, and so you want to definitely look at the birth chart of the person whose Pluto is falling into your first house to best understand how this might play out. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you found me on YouTube and you found this helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe in order to get a notification of all my future uploads because I plan on doing quite a bit. If you found me on my website, thank you so much for visiting and for joining me. Um, and I wish you guys the best and there'll be more to come. 